eventually travels down this hose up the T and into our simulated patient here. It goes to a bag here that we typically use to manually ventilate a patient. It'll close, the pressure will build again, oxygen will flow into the lungs. The ventilator is a lamp timer. Um, this will turn on. We were using it for demonstration earlier, uh, but this, here. That allows oxygen to flow into the patient. This is a ventilator that I've built for emergency use in a crisis situation where the coronavirus patients have exhausted all available ventilators. This is a, a portable oxygen supply that we were using for demonstration earlier, uh, but this hose is a standard oxygen hose that connect, can oxygen, connect to an oxygen outlet in any hospital room. It goes to a bag here that we typically use to manually ventilate a patient, uh, but in this case, we just use this valve to regulate the pressure going into the circuit that eventually travels down this hose up the T and into our simulated patient here. That allows oxygen to flow into the patient and then this is an electric solenoid valve that every few seconds opens, releases the pressure and allows the patient to exhale. It'll close, the pressure will build again, oxygen will flow into the lungs um, and that circuit cycle will repeat over and over again. And my, uh, the brain of the ventilator is a lamp timer. Um, this will turn on uh, currently, I have it set to turn on one second. Every four seconds releases the pressure in the lungs and oxygen flows out. And that's the ventilator.